Oh, Maya Bat and Renata Zakov. Oh, sorry, Zakova of the Czech Republic. Zakova in blue, the Mongolian in white. Bayerbet came in here with five previous matches. Well, Zakova came in here with three or uh, four previous matches. Mongolia always a strong nation at judo. And uh, Bayerbet is three times bronze medalist in the nationals in Mongolia. Judo is definitely getting much more popular in Mongolia. Now they have had the first Olympic champion back in 2008. Oh, you can see Bayerbat came in for a trap technique, almost gets countered. And now the Czech girl is working on it. Trying the turnover, the referee stopped the action because there was no progress. Girls are getting the sleeves, keeping each other at a distance, and you can see the golden girl drops down again. So, a penalty to the Czech. I was just about to say, uh, Zakova just seems to be struggling to, um, to force herself on this fight. That's true. She has her sleeve controlled by her opponent and she tries to come across with that right hand but just can't manage to reach across to get a lapel control now she gets it she gets the uh, and then loses that control so she's having a little bit of difficulty getting her preferred grip now Mongolia did have both hands on the lapels can see Leia back does really well to frustrate her opponent and now Zakova managed to come with an attack of her own off the double sleep grip which is a surprise and then difficult yeah very yeah. difficult to pull off I don't think Leia Bart expected that for those who are new to judo can you just explain why these hand grips are so important why, why in some of these fights you see them you know, grappling for all oh, oh. Well, Takuma just attempted a sacrifice technique landed herself hard on her back but because there was no control from her opponent it doesn't land a score for the Mongolian so to answer your question the gripping is so important in judo because we need different type of grips to set up for different throws and a lot of these fighters they're used to certain uh, gripping positions and only with certain grips they can throw their favorite techniques and when they don't have that it's like fighting you know with a disadvantage they can still do some techniques but not as many or as well And you may not be able to see this by watching, but some of these fighters have such strong oh. grips. And another attack drops Sergi Sirkonogoshi from Bayabat. I'm not quite sure how Zakova managed to get out of that one. Well, using her face, I guess. Yeah. <laughs> Must not have been very comfortable.
Oh, she got the throw in this time for Wazari. So the Mongolian has the advantage with 20 seconds on the clock. Oh, she really dropped in at the right time. With a Seonagi, Seotoshi. Now the Czech has 15 seconds to draw level. And the Mongolian is just looking to kill time there on the ground by appearing active. As long as she appears active, they're not going to stop the clock. Well, with a second on the clock, the medal is going to the Mongolian. The San Jagal Bayabat of Mongolia wins the bronze medal with a Wazari against uh, Zakova of the Czech Republic. And Zakova just never felt she managed to quite get into the match quite as much as Bayabat. Bayabat controlled things from the start. Yes, in this match it looked very much in Bayabat's favour for the most part. So Mongolia claims their first medal of these games, well, of, of the judo in these games, and the first five medals of the day have been won, all of them by different nations. Awesome. Big throw over there on the screen. You can see this sacrifice attempt. And here is another drop throw from the Mongolian. I gotta give it to the Czech girl, Sakova. She is definitely very agile to escape many of those big throws. Constellation for Zakova, four times Czech champion but she goes home.